Hi, I'm Tony Falcone, and I'm here with uh, Thurston Delisle of CentraServe. And today we were exploring some out-of-the-box scenarios for thin clients, Citrix Zen desktop provisioning server for one of our education clients. Um, and Thurston had some uh, very creative ideas for modifying the thin clients and using provisioning server to actually stream down the desktop image direct to the thin client device, more or less to test its effects and its performance. Um, and while I think he came up with some pretty interesting results. So that being said, Dorson's going to take us for a quick tour of what he did. So, Tony, uh, we started off with a uh, Devon IT TC5. We worked with uh, Devon IT, the Devon IT team to uh, install Windows XP Professional on this device. And what we did then was we were able to take the installation that's on here and using Citrix provisioning server, take the image off of here, store it as a VDesk onto our provisioning server, and then push it down to our TC5. So we, we had to put it on there for all the appropriate drivers, so we did configuration. Correct, right. We want to get the drivers right on here. We want to make sure the audio is working. We want to make sure that the, uh, that the system would, would even install. So, uh, and get all of our service packs and hot fixes and updates on here. So, uh, one of the reasons why we wanted to do this, instead of using a traditional thin client model, was because this particular school district had some higher end requirements for video and graphics and things like that, where uh, RDP and ICA may not quite be there yet. Uh, running the, the video card that's on here, you can see on here it's got two DVI ports on here, so this device has some pretty hardcore video computing pro uh, processing power on there. So we want to take advantage of the full capability of this TC5. So in doing so, what we did was we, we, we've taken our, our image off of this device and we've pushed it up to our provisioning server. So on our provisioning server, we can see here we have a, a, uh, a V-disk that is uh, six gigs in size. Uh, and it is going to be linked down to the other uh, TC5 that we have here. Now, what's significant about this is that because we're using a V-Disk, we can now break outside of the limitations of the disk requirements or, or, or disk limitations of this device. This device can come with a maximum of a 4 gig DOM. When we use a V-Disk, we can then go ahead and create that DOM to be as big as we want it to be. So in this particular case, we've gone to 6 gigs, gives us a lot more capacity on that DOM to, or on that V-Disk to install additional applications like Office and this particular graphics application that the school district is going to need. So to get this working uh, using provisioning server, we've gone ahead and tied in the MAC address of this TC5 that's over here, and we, uh, we've linked the VDisk that we created earlier to that MAC address, and when we go ahead and power on this TC5, what we'll see on the screen over here is that this device is going to go ahead and boot up. It's going to uh, pixie boot to the provisioning server and then stream the OS down to the thin client. So this desktop's running on the back end. So. Right, this is our console, our provisioning server console. And that is a physical representation of what's running on that box. That's it. Now the, the thin client that we're running now has no storage on it whatsoever. This device has only got RAM, processor, and uh, video card. No DOM, no, no DOM, USB, nope. nothing like that. If this thing could not pixie boot, it would not boot at all. So all of its OS, all of its caching, all the everything's happening on the back. That's it. So we see the, the system booting up now. And we're presented our Windows logon. We go ahead and log in like any user. Our audio works. Our desktop loads. And if we go ahead and go out to Internet Explorer here, We see that we have smooth graphics. We can watch, watch and run videos without any, uh, uh, without any misalignment of the audio to video feed. Everything is very fluid. 
all the processing and memory and video requirements are run here, while all that storage is done on the back end. So just to boil this down for me, and for people that aren't used to VDI virtualization, that operating system, is, it's running on that box. Yep. But in terms of the V-disk, the V-disk is hosted on the back. That's it. So I can take that one image and spread it out to 50 of these thin clients without them. Absolutely. Now, here's the next, the next uh, really neat thing about this. Uh, if we need to make an update or want to make a change, mm -hmm. we only have to update that one VDisk that's on the back end. So if we have those 50 TC5s that are rolled out throughout the environment, well, we update our, our one VDisk, and then from there, we roll it back out to our TC5s. So next time they reboot, they have those updates, and everyone is on track. So we're reducing our cost of management of the devices, and we are uh, easing our our deployment pains as well. So for the, the school district we're talking about, they don't have to buy the third party software to lock down that PC anymore because once you unload it, it goes back to normal. Once you reboot, you get that crisp, clean desktop all over. That's right. So in fact, right. that could effectively cost to pay for itself because they don't need those additional licenses for a lot. That's it. Cool. I like it. They're going to like it. I think so. <laughs>